definitely on that side of the river. Hmm. We'll yeah. go back across and explore more. Well. I clearly saw Nanny over there. <laughs> This is the path over here. No, because there's the waterfall. So this is the path we crossed from. Nanny is definitely over here. Why is this butterfly constantly following? I'm supposed to be the guide, not the yeah. butterfly. But alright, if the butterfly wants to take my job, he's more than welcome to take my yeah. job. now dear just a little bit further and yeah. my how long has this been a little bit further dear just a little bit more yeah. keep going you can do it dear i believe in you stay determined see as go i can do uh, definitely yeah. a better job than you at this <laughs> anyway let us continue shall we <laughs> right let's take ray over this way to try and find where in the earth our lovely fluffy friend is we can't seem to go this way for some unexplained reason. There are bushes in the way. Only really, earth place bushes here. Can't we just call Nanny over? Apparently we can't just call Nanny over. Fine. We'll try go in this opposite direction. We'll follow the wall and the bushes across. What is this? Nanny! You're calling Nanny? Nanny? Don't tell me at the end of the day we're going to end up right back where we started. Okay, where are we going? Coming around here. Wait, I hear Nanny's bell. Where's Nanny? Nanny? Seems openly elaborate to find a cat. Where are we? Is this path for forward? Nanny. Nanny. I swear, must there be a gate everywhere we go? Serious. Nanny must be in here somewhere. Okay, there's Nanny. Unless Nanny lost his collar. Nanny, please tell me you have not lost your collar. Me. Can we please not have this been elaborate? Please be nanny. Please let this be a happy end. Oh. Ah. oh dear. Mm. 
Is it Nanny? <gasps> it's a graveyard. Nanny? Nanny, did your owner die? Hold on. Nanny? Nanny dear, is that you? Nanny! Oh, Nanny. What's this? Is it really Nanny? <gasps> it's Nanny's bell. Oh dear. Where is Nanny? Why are we in the graveyard? Please don't tell me Nanny is dead or I will not be happy with this story. <gasps> Please don't tell me that's the end of this story. That is very sad. I do not like this at all. Oh, poor Ray. Oh, Ray. There is no guarantee that the cat did pass away, though. Away. But again, we only found his collar. No, you cannot be serious. After all that, to discover that he was. Ray had finally realised that Nanny was gone. Forever. time together you told me all precious things of life and love of seeing the world though every changing eyes oh jeez well then um oh dear that of course was the tale of beyond eyes But then again, it makes sense. Cats, unlike other animals, will go away to die. So that they don't worry people, but it worries people more. Well then, um, that of course was the end of Beyond Eyes. I do hope you all enjoyed. one friend but she gained another
One day, Brave received a visitor. The end. In our short time together, you told me all precious things of life and love, of seeing the world through ever-changing eyes, of holding on and letting go, and the little naps in the sun. I miss you. So that, of course, was the end of Beyond Eyes. So for me personally, that did touch a lot of chords with me because we've had cats in our families for a long time, and we've had pets, animals, and if you grow attached to them, they when they go away it does hurt a lot it still does today but cats are one of those animals which will actually go away to die they don't like for you to be around them they don't want you to be upset over the loss of them so they will go on these long elaborate journeys just so they can die in peace and not make you mourn we had one cat that was like that and we hunted high and low for her. Eventually we did find her. So this story actually does, it is something I can relate to slightly with the passing of the animal and everything, so it does strike chord with me. And I can understand that this was quite an elaborate journey for her to do, not having the ability to see and not knowing what was going to happen. And holding on to the small hope she's gonna be reunited with a friend when he discovered he was gone. So yeah, that it was beautifully illustrated story. And yes, it successfully made me cry. I'm sorry towards the end I lost the character of Toriel. Again, I we all had a funny feeling that we knew what the ending was gonna be, but again, that was hard to voice over. Still, again, when one door closes, another opens. So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye, everyone, and remember to hold on to that of which you hold dear. Farewell, and thank you for watching.